Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Soul Vibin' with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. Scorpio, this tarot card reading is going to be all about love and what's coming up for you for February 2021. So we're going to tune into your energy and your special person's energy to see what's coming up around you, alright? So if that's something you want to know about, then just stay watching. First, I'm going to start off with the Romance Angels deck, okay? Which is going to give me an overall view of what's going on with you and your special person. We're going to follow by Tarot, of course. Clarify with Tarot, and then I will be giving you one of my um, Worculite Oracle, as well as the little letters of love, which are cute little letters I have written with a little message inside of them. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm so excited to get into this reading with you. So let's just go ahead and get to it, shall we? Let me move my crystals as I have been charging your, um, or the cards here with, these lovely crystals that give it good energy and bring lots of clarity to the reading. So let's go ahead and see. First, I'm going to pull from my Romance Angels deck. Okay, because it's going to give me the overall view of what's going on between you and your special person. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, moon ascendant and venus what's going on with scorpio sun moon ascendant and venus sun moon ascendant and venus please scorpio love relationship singles what's coming up around um scorpio please <clears throat> situationships anything that needs to be brought to light what does scorpio need to hear so we got a few too many cards for me but i'm gonna go ahead and take this one so we get reconciliation <clears throat> so maybe some of you guys are wanting to reconcile or maybe someone's wanting to reconcile with you that you're unsure of or that you may be unaware of as well maybe they're not speaking yet that they're thinking about coming forward to you Go ahead and see what this is about. You may just be also thinking about this person, especially since it's Mercury retrograde, you guys. Um, we tend to think about our past or past relationships um, tend to be really exalted around this time. Can I get one more for Scorpio, please? I think this one wants to come out. Give your relationship a chance. So I think you're dealing with someone here who... who you know, wants to make something work with you, okay? Maybe you are reconciling because you have children with this person. That doesn't have to apply for everybody. But this just can be for, for somebody here. This can also be like a past lover from like another lifetime for some of you, all right? And that's why this connection is so deep is what I'm hearing. So let's just go ahead and pull the tarot out, all right? Tarot for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Venus. What's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Venus, please? Beautiful. So I will go ahead and take those cards for you. So first we get the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so yeah, I feel like someone came forward to you. Um, this could be an air sign, air sign, fire sign you're dealing with. doesn't have to be. Um, and they want to start something new, so this was kind of really shocking to you. Okay, I feel like this person overall went through something that made them realize like what you what was going on. And I feel like you're going to go for this, to be honest with you. Um, with the rest of these cards here all right i feel like you may have been waiting for this person to come back around and offer you something scorpio but overall what i'm seeing here with the six of wands and the ace of wands is that this person wants to start something new with you okay i feel like yeah i feel like them coming back around really caused a shock a shock in your in your life because of the tower card here but overall, I feel like you're staying hopeful, of course, as the star card talks about. I feel like you're you're looking at things um, to work out as this person may be talking to you, telling you, hey, it's going to work out this time. That just can be for some of you. All right. So if you resonate with this, let's go ahead and just clarify this up really quick. 
So can I get a clarification for the Six of Wands? Why is the Six of Wands here for Scorpio? There's definitely something new um, that you've been working on though as well. Maybe um, this new thing you're working on. Wow, we have the Sun card. So you can definitely be dealing with a... Um, the sun represents a Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo who could have been, could have been kind of prideful in the past. Okay, maybe they moved away um, for a while or they went away and, and maybe th things have changed with this person. Yeah, so they want a brand new start. They want you guys to work out, okay? So even if maybe they're not saying anything at the moment, I feel like this is what they're thinking and this is definitely their energy. Um, this can also be your energy, but I don't think this is you. I, I feel like this is more you down here. It's kind of like... But hey, whatever. Put the energies where they resonate, okay? But let's go ahead and clarify one more for the Ace of Wands, please. One more for the Ace of Wands. So we get the Queen of Cups. There you are. So, wow. So we get the Magician and the Queen of Cups together um, with the Ace of Wands. This may... So what I'm seeing is they, they want you, okay? They see you as very loving, very caring. I feel like you are this Queen of Cups. Like you've been very nurturing and especially in the past, maybe you you could have um done a lot for this person. Maybe this is you that you want to give this relationship a chance with this person. You're seeing things in a different light, a different way. Of course, that energy can be that way too. It can be reversed. Um, With the Five of Pentacles though, I feel like someone did leave. Someone Someone left, someone walked out. Okay, or maybe you have um, a feeling that this person won't want to reconciliate or you can be feeling this way where you're, you don't want to really give this a chance. I mean, everyone's different, right? The Seven of Swords, you probably feel like this person is lying or like they're going to cheat on you or something like that. But let's go ahead and clarify this tarot card, okay? So you could have found out that they, they had someone else. We got the Six of Wands again. So what I'm getting is that... With the Six of Wands and the, yeah, this person maybe wasn't, I feel like for some reason this person wasn't very stable. It's like they were like juggling too much or dealing with too many things at once and you could have moved away or they could have moved away, put the energy so they resonate from, from you or from that. You moved away from them. Okay, with a tarot card here, maybe things ended and maybe you're learning to just be on your own and you probably feel way better about this without your this person in your life. That can definitely be the energy for some of you is what I'm getting because remember, there's different people here, so I feel like there just can't be one story to this. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The Scorpio, let's go ahead and clarify the star card for you. Why is the star card here for Scorpio? So right on top of the star card, we get the six of pentacles. So I feel like something here, you're looking for balance. And I feel like you know you can have so much more. Um, so much more than what this person probably was offering in the past. Okay. One more for the star card, please. So I'm going to take this one here. We got the Six of Cups. So there is definitely a deep connection. And I do feel like <clears throat> you have a you you have a hard time also letting go of the past is what I'm hearing. Okay, with the King of Wands, you have a hard time letting go of this person. Because I, Scorpio, I have a feeling like you kind of um, come up with the King of Wands every time. But overall, there's a deep connection with you and this person. So I definitely feel like things are going to change. And it's the time too, you know, timing with this person as well is very important. With the Wheel of Fortune here though and the Sun card, I feel like things are going to start working in your favor, especially financially is what I'm saying. If you've been having some kind of financial issues or or financial situations happen here, I feel like things are going to start turning for you. But with the King of Wands here, it popped out with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things are going to start changing. I feel like this person really um, wants to reconcile with you. That's honestly the energy i'm getting there you are scorpio 
So um, you're going to have to make a decision with this, okay? And this may be future energy. This is probably what's coming up. And maybe it's coming up energeti energetically for you already. So maybe that's why you're here looking for answers. But overall, what I'm seeing is that there's a decision you're going to have to make. Okay, here with the death card and the two of, two of wands. I totally feel like that's your energy. So let's go ahead and see what's advice from the universe from for this um, connection or relationship. For Scorpio, please, what's advice from the universe for this connection? And I will be doing a whole new spread in just a second just to get more energies or see what else is going on, okay? Or what else is coming up around you because some of you may be dealing with more than one people or more, excuse me, more than one person. And so this can be just one person from your past who is coming up, right? So um, I feel like there needs to be com clear communication, okay? I feel like there's going to be clear communication if there hasn't been. Um, I feel like if somebody has been holding back from communication, there's going to be communication that comes through. And I feel like this can be um, uh, pretty in-depth communication as well as what I'm saying with the Eight of Wands. Like, you guys are definitely going to talk this out. Wow. <laughs> so, you won't believe what came out you're going to share your emotions and your feelings with this person you're going to tell this person clearly how you felt and why you moved away or vice versa why this person moved away from you but this is definitely what's coming up it's going to be a new opportunity in love um and that's what you're moving you're moving into some of you may be completely moving out of this um cycle and just into a whole new love all right and that's why i want to do a whole new spread for you guys because i feel like the people that are not going to reconcile I feel like they have something else coming up around them, right? Around you guys, basically. So let's go ahead and see what, what else is coming up around you, okay, Scorpio? This is just one energy. I feel like, like I said, with Mercury retrograde here, we tend to, um, old things from the past tend to come up and it's kind of like heavy because even though you've moved away from this person and then Mercury retrograde comes back and shakes things up like, hey, have you really moved away from them? Like, hey, have you really forgot about them? And it's it kind of sucks, to be honest. You got to get over that energy. And as soon as you learn to like accept it and like put it in the past, because it's so uh, right now, the energies with the astrological plan with the planets and everything, astrological planets <laughs> with the planets lined up the way they are. It's kind of like one day you're hot, one day you're cold. So things are changing so much, especially since we're in your with um, Uranus or Aquarius season. You know what I'm saying? It's just oh, I don't know. So for, we get unrequited love and playfulness. I feel like someone in this connection could have been a little bit childish don't feel like this is you scorpio overall i feel like scorpios are pretty mature and then so now you're calling your soulmate you want something different some of you um are already in this energy where you want something that's more stable you want something that's um equal give and take someone who's emotionally available and who can give you what you want i don't i know you know yeah let's just go ahead and see what's going on with this okay so this may be the same energy and I'm just doing a whole new spread for you guys, but it won't be too long. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up around Scorpio, please. We get the three of cups. So there's definitely a, a reunion of some kind and, and, and you may be waiting for this or you may be taking a break from, <laughs> you may be taking a break from like trying to clear your mind up, I guess is what I want to say. You want to clear your head up to see if, you know what you should say or what you should come back with if there is a reunion and someone wants to reunite with you also some of you have probably been partying is what i'm getting as well and what i'm totally getting is like some of you have probably been or you have plans for um valentine's day all right but overall i don't think you feel like this can happen like that's just that's just the vibe I'm getting. Like, I don't know if this is the same energy, different energy, but let me know which one you resonated with the most. But with the Five of Cups here, they're very similar. But with, with the Five of Cups here and the Three of Cups, I feel like you know you can't have this reunion because of the past, like how it was. It was really one-sided. You probably gave more to this person. And now this person wants to come back around like nothing happened kind of thing. And so it's hard. You know, it is hard. You know, you get the judgment card. You're judging the situation. You're really looking at things um, like with a magnifying glass. Like, you know, am I going to really 
give this person a second chance. Yeah, there was a lot of arguments, okay? And and you may be communicating with this person and and then it's just not going to go well or this is probably what you're feeling, you know, with the five of pentacles here is what I'm seeing as well. But overall, I feel like you're doing good. I feel like, well, by doing good, what I mean is like you're doing good on your own is what I'm hearing. You know, you may have these people in around you who try to hold you back, but overall, you free yourself from it. But at the end of the day, you still feel a, a little anxiety. Maybe you don't sleep very good at night. And, and so sometimes you, you know, you don't feel like you have, you have this reconciliation. But realistically, can Scorpio have this reconciliation with this person? Um, this three of cups, can they have it? Let's go ahead and see. So we get the emperor. So yeah, I feel like someone here is being very analytical. We have the king. Okay, so for some of you, there's more than one person is what I'm hearing. This can also be you. This is like divine masculine coming through. So whoever has been like acting more in the relationship, doing more, that's divine masculine, okay? We get an Aries and we get a king of cups, which is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this can definitely be you. Um, somebody wants a reunion with you and, and or some of you may have two people. Put the energies where they resonate. Can I clarify this four swords, please? I feel like it, you you are you're definitely in your head about this, but there's like love here to be touched up on, and also you're having dreams, or maybe these are these dreams coming up. Maybe you had a dream about this person um, coming back into your life, or you keep having dreams about this person and it's kind of hard to let it go or something like that, right? Yeah, the seven of pentacles. It's like you're looking at your everything you've built and it's like after all this time, you know, I still think about this person, like how and why. Totally feel that energy. Um, with the, some of you may be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well, or you may be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you've been, you know, just in your head about. You've been dreaming about this person. You wake up at night and you're just like, you know, why? Like, why after all this time am I still thinking of this person? Now, this can just be for some of you. Like I said, with Mercury retrograde really affects our state of mind. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see. What this eight of wands is here for what's this eight of wands here for scorpio some of you may have trouble sleeping and you're just focused on your money is what i'm hearing as well you're very um abundant you have things in order as well with the eight of wands here you're definitely moving forward in a good direction but there's just things you're stressed out about overall they're not holding you back with the sun card here i feel like things are um your future and whatever you're working on is really um really abundant something really positive is what i'm hearing with the sun card here um overall though some of you guys dealing with this taurus virgo capricorn that you've been arguing with i feel like things are going to start take, taking a better turn this could be somebody from your past with the six of cups here um things things to start moving with you and this person the energies where they resonate I feel like you guys have a deep connection though and that's what's making it hard like to let go of this person can i clarify the nine of wands please yeah sure we get the three of pentacles some of you are working um working a lot as well so you're losing a little bit of sleep but overall it's paying off for you um with the three of pentacles you go from the three to the five so that's like bringing up your for some of you you guys um you're focused on your money and something happened something happened i feel like because you go from the seven to the five so you may be dealing with business problems or something like that with the king of wands and the queen of cups that have shown up here i feel like you could have worked with this person in the past so you could have given this relationship a um a chance here but there's someone being left out and i i, I can't distinguish whether this is you and this person i feel like you know you know, someone here is, I feel like both of you may be scared to move forward with this connection because, you know, it's really kind of not going to work or it's going to take a lot of work um, if you decide to work on this connection. With the chariot here, some of you may be just setting free, setting yourself free, or you want success with this connection, right? Yeah, some of you guys want this reunion, but it's like you're holding off because right now at this, at this form, moment in time, I feel like energetically you're not ready for it. 
point blank period. You're just not ready for it. Um, but there is new love that's coming in for you. And this may be with a fire sign. You guys are going to move into... Um, you guys are going to move into a space and time where you guys are going to be at peace with what's been going on. Or you're just getting a whole new love. Alright? So Scorpio, let's go ahead and let me put some of these cards up. I want to pull out the little letters of love for you to see if there's any other um, clarity that comes through. Hold up. first card we get is smile for me somebody really wants to see you happy somebody wants to reunite with you and just make you smile maybe they made you laugh a lot or smile in the past our connection is incredible so this is a definitely a deep connection with you guys okay some of you guys you guys will be it, reconciling because to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so you're gonna have to just be like a child learn to forgive and forget about the past as well one word you guys have a very deep connection i see emotions here for sure okay there's the there was the ace of cups that came out a few times there was also the three of cups and the five of cups this is emotions you know you guys are gonna definitely um spill your emotions to each other tell each other exactly how you feel i definitely feel like you're gonna get over something number one fan somebody here maybe um maybe spying on you as well as what i'm hearing oh and i totally forgot to point that out with the with the card we got in the last spread where somebody could have been looking out pop star not a doctor i totally feel like someone here um was scared to heal okay they chose to run away from like their problems why you cut me off all right yeah, someone here, someone here moved away from you. And that's, that's what's leaving you kind of stressed out. I'm not the same person you remember. And so someone here is also made, like, yeah, I feel like there's been epiphanies here. You know what I mean? Like this person or somebody here is just ready to move on. So let's go ahead and see. Like I said, put the energies where they resonate. Some of you will be reconciling with somebody. Maybe this already happened. Let me see. And then, like, you're going to reconcile. There's going to be arguments. Something's going to happen. And then it's like, okay, bye. Like, I'm going to leave, you know? Someone here is scared of healing. Inner temple devotions. Tune into the portal of your heart. So what is your heart really telling you? And you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So don't worry about these worries you're having. Okay, don't worry. Don't don't worry so much. I feel like you're in the right place at the right time. So don't worry about, you know, people coming back or leaving. Ultimately, whoever wants to stay and value you, they're going to. And that's just something you got to um learn to resonate with because it's the only way that it's going to get you through. And that's that's like <laughs> that's the only way through, you guys. So let's go ahead and and your reading there. I will be doing another reading for you guys here soon. Thank you so much for um, being here and listening. I will see you guys in your next video. Bye.